In announcing broadcasts, I've heard a lot of great music. But I got one of my biggest musical thrills visiting the Camden plant of RCA Victor. In that plant, guarded day and night behind these huge steel doors, I found a treasure house of music. The originals of the finest records ever made by Victor. The music of the world's greatest artists of past and present. These are the master discs from which millions of great records have been pressed. And I saw records made. Music literally written in wax. The first step I learned is to pour a thin layer of molten wax onto a hot plate. The beginning of the master record. A hot flame melts all bubbles and flaws out of the wax, which is of the purest possible grade. This is done in a sealed, dust-proof and air-conditioned room where the temperature is thermostatically controlled. A second going over with the flame and the wax is ready for slow and careful cooling. Almost ready for the recording of the music. Meticulous examination ensures smooth perfection before the wax is passed through a special slot to the recording room. The perfect wax is put on the turntable, a cutting point called a stylus is adjusted, and everything is ready to record again the most popular selection ever caught on wax, the beautiful blue Danube waltz of Johann Strauss. The sound engineer is ready. The musicians are set. And I see a record made. Vibrations of sound brought from the microphones pass through this cutting head to the stylus. The stylus, in turn, cuts the vibrations in the soft wax, records the poetic tones forever. The soft disc is washed with nitrogen and put into a chamber with a block of pure gold. A 2500 volt electrical current, I was amazed to learn, bombards atoms of gold onto the wax, coating it completely. The gold-covered disc is put into a solution of copper sulfate through which a powerful electrical current runs, transferring molecules of copper from the solution to the record. As a result of this process, called electrolysis, the disc comes out plated with copper, immortal music written in metal. In a second bath, the copper coating is further built up. In these baths, electricity flows through the solution between two poles, one a block of copper and the other the disc itself. When the current passes from the copper into the solution, it carries with it charged molecules of metal called ions, which are drawn to the disc and penetrate its tiniest recesses, taking the exact shape of the grooves made by the original sound vibrations ensuring perfect fidelity of tone in the final record. From this furiously bubbling cauldron comes the master record. After the copper has taken the impression, the wax may be stripped away. This master matrix now could be used to press the final records, I was told but it would not last long enough to turn out the millions of discs music lovers demand. Hence another disc, called a mother matrix, must be made first, and from that, stampers will be made to press the final records. 
when the master is finally stripped, the last traces of wax are washed away. The master matrix is carefully rinsed and scrubbed. Then it's given another electrolytic bath, this time of nickel, which I learned gives it a still harder outer coating. After this bath, the master is washed and dipped into a special solution that coats it with a fine film. Now into another copper bath, and this time the mother matrix starts to build up on the face of the master, taking the shape of the same grooves, capturing again the sweet tones of the flowing music. The double disc is now separated into mother and master, and the master matrix goes down to the treasure house of music to be preserved for all time, to take its place beside the works of the world's greatest artists. The mother matrix is thoroughly washed and cleaned and goes into a nickel bath to give it a more durable surface. After another washing and film coating, it goes into another copper bath where the stamping matrix starts to build up. The double disc bubbles in its bath until the tiny electrified particles of copper grow into a hard, strong coating and the plating is finished. Now the mother matrix and stamper locked face to face are separated. From the mother, additional stampers will be made so that many finished records may be pressed at one time. Before the stamper is ready to use, it receives a nickel plating and then another coat, this time of hard gleaming chromium to give it resistance enough to last through many pressings. The matrix is washed once more and now with other stampers, it will soon be ready to press the finished records. For still greater strength, the completed matrix is soldered to a rigid backing. For perfect contact with the hot backing, the stamper is heated with flame, protected with a chemically neutral blanket, and pressed evenly into the hot solder. <laughs>